Buenos dias, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, wherever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi Tehutu, and yes, I am the guy that five years ago sold literally his house, his companies, his cars, went all into Bitcoin, started to travel the world with his family. Now, coming to you from this beautiful Tulum in Mexico, guys. It is amazing here, I'm filming with my iPhone, I am not editing the videos anymore because I am really out of time so I try to do the videos as simple as possible with a screen recording sorry for this it's still a 4k video but maybe not as beautiful and maybe some mistakes because I am not editing anymore in today's video of course talking at the, look, talking about the Bitcoin price looking at the blockchain news and yes maybe even talking about the BAM indicator the TikTok indicator and the Bitcoin family on the discord channel guys um, all of this while walking this beautiful beach here in Tulum, Mexico. Who, my, you, who knows what we might uh, encounter, maybe something cool, and I will film that as well. Uh, just go with the flow. Let's start with the Bitcoin charts, guys, because I want to show you what I think that Bitcoin is going to do next as my prediction. And yesterday's video was not that correct. <laughs> I admit that, but still it was partly correct. And I'm going to show you why. So let's jump into the Bitcoin part, this part. Bam! Here we have it. This is the four hour chart, guys. Yesterday, I told you, I thought we were going to um, keep support on this green line. We didn't. We broke down of this green line. You know, that is breaking down of this complete channel that was being formed. But we found support on this green box. That is what I said yesterday as well. If we would break down this green line, we would probably find support on that green box. And we exactly did find support on that green box. And that one is around this level here. So that's around 46,000 US dollar. If we would break this level, yes, we could even fall down to this level over here, which is also um, still bullish in my opinion because if we zoom out guys we have been growing tremendously in the last couple of months so I don't stress and freak out I just zoom out because if we do this a little bit like this guys check where we came from this is we are this is insane we are making huge runs this is not looking bearish this is still looking bullish even if we would fall back to this level here of 41k I am not getting bearish I will still be bullish because then we will probably be going up and, and bouncing from the MAs or whatever you know um, the BAM BAM indicator is giving us a short over there and we took that short and it was an amazing short these are the indications that the BAM BAM indicator is doing you can see the red flag you can see the scandal closing below the yellow stepping line at the bottom in the bam bam indicator over here guys you can see that we are clearly having the blue line crossing the white line this scene, this is a triple confirmation of a short and that's why you should be taking that short um, the long on the other hand on the other side that was not a triple confirmation uh, so the short before that one so we are talking about this short over there now that is not a triple confirmation there is not closing there's no candle closing down below the yellow stepping line. So um, make sure you watch all those educational videos and on the Bam Bam indicator so you understand exactly. I'm going to try to hide some stuff so that you have a little bit clear view so that you know exactly um, what to expect and when to take the good short and the good long, guys. Um, if we take a look at the MAs, I have not... Oh, shit. I forgot to set the MAs guys, but I think the 200 MA is also around the 40,000, 41,000 US dollar. So if we would drop to the 200 MA, same area of this green box. So yes, the 200 MA again um, could be a huge region of support. Uh, the 50 MA, that was the level we broke. This is all on the 4 hour chart. Um, let's take a look at some other charts guys. I have BAM, this one. These are the BAM trades from yesterday. You can see we traded with $500 at the leverage of 10 
uh, I only did three trades. I am really busy at the moment in Mexico. Um, yes, uh, building this cool project. At the end of the video, I will tell you how much we already raised for this Tulum school project. But first this chart. Um, the first trade, guys, you can see, brought us from 500 US dollar to 560 US dollar. Then we had another short that brought the 560 US dollar to 700 US dollar. And then there was a very flat market. And then at the end of the day, I could do one more short, which made 700 US dollar into 920 US dollar. It is really busy at the moment. So that's why I'm a little bit less in the Discord group and everything, but I will try to catch up this weekend, guys. Uh, always watch, watch out, it is Friday. And on Friday, we always see the closing of the CME and we create a CME gap probably in the weekend. So in the weekend, the, the Bitcoin price can go a little bit more volatile, maybe pump again to 50K, but be aware that on the Mondays, when the CMA opens again, we can be dropping back to that level where we closed on Friday. Uh, that is the chart information for today, guys. Let's go back to BAM, BAM. Pass on the beach, uh, like this one here, that's like 200 meters, completely full with seaweed. Not weed to smoke, <laughs> I wish it was weed to smoke then there would be a shitload of weed, like you can see. Man, I would be stoned all day if I would be smoking this weed. <laughs> but, uh, ah, fuck there, there was a shell. <laughs> oh, I can't edit the video. I said fuck again. Bam! <laughs> I forgot to say bam at the charts. Um, but there are a few parts of the beach that are full with the seaweed. Our beach, uh, like, I still need to walk two kilometers back home. That part is okay. Uh, and most of the parts, they are being cleaned also for these people. The biggest part of the seaweed has already been uh, taken away. Um, so if you want to come to Mexico, don't freak out about the charts. Don't freak out about the seaweed uh, because, you know, here, even a package with cocaine. Check. I think I found a package with cocaine. Can you see this? I think it's coke. Cocaine. Leave it for the drug dealers. <laughs> well, it could have been another investment in Bitcoin, but drop it. <laughs> but that's what you uh, can see over here, guys. Um, yesterday evening, I will uh, talk a little bit about yesterday evening. Yesterday evening, I went for dinner with Madalon Vos uh, and her boyfriend. I don't know if I can uh, talk about this because, you know, the, not all the Bitcoiners are like, uh, want to share all everything. But we had a really cool dinner, Mexican style, Mexican music on the background. Somet sometimes a little loud, so we couldn't understand each other. Uh, but it was an amazing evening. I love to meet all these uh, crypto people. Uh, Madelon, I already know her for a couple of years now from Holland. She's doing a lot of television and radio shows in the Netherlands when it comes to Bitcoin. Um, you know, it's cool to sometimes be able to talk to other people that have been experienced this strange life of bearish and bullish times. And now, of course, all bullish. And, you know, to connect and to talk about uh, your feelings, your all the stuff that you go through as a Bitcoiner in these periods. It was a it was a beautiful evening. We had some food, some drinks, uh, and, a, and a good chat. And I'm looking forward to a chat again, Madelon. If you're watching this video, I don't think so because she's mainly focused on trading all own videos, and she's doing a great job there for the whole Dutch community. Uh, I think she is going to do some English very soon as well. But yeah, she will keep you up to date on that. Do I have something else to tell? Yes, the family, um, they are finally feeling a little bit more relaxed in Mexico. It took really a week, the jet lag for the kids. They were really like, oh my God. But that was because in Portugal, they already was off the rhythm. They already had this rhythm of uh, sleeping late and uh, chatting with people and all that stuff. You know, uh, so yeah. But now, I think today we are going to do the first trip. Because today, uh, yesterday I got my car. Jessa was able uh, to choose the car. She chose a Jeep Wrangler. So yes, Jessa has a very good and uh, also expensive taste. <laughs> but Jessa chose the Jeep Wrangler. Um, so that one we will have now for a month. Of course, a discount. Of course, talking them to, uh, to accept Bitcoins. And yes, uh, doing my shit everywhere over the world. So also here in Tulum, Mexico. Um, we are going to the, how do you call this? The Maya temples, the cenotes. We are going to beautiful beaches to swim with turtles and dolphins and all that stuff. And you will see this all in these videos. But let's now jump in the news part because else this video is going to be too long again. Let's check what the blockchain news was for today, this part. Bam! Meerkat conducts an alleged 31 million rug pull on one day. Um, so this is really terrible. Um, this could mean that Meerkat Finance uh, ran, uh, walked away with a shitload of money um, and they are not coming back, which means a lot of people 
lost a lot of money and that is the first huge DeFi scam. I don't know if it is a real scam, but it's built on Binance Smart Chain, which is not good, good for Binance as well. Uh, this is bad uh, public, uh, promotion, of course. Um, but they, they suffered an attack on their vault and hackers uh, just took all the funds. Uh, I don't like these kinds of news, but I need to share the news because that is uh, what is also happening. Um, and the Binance team is, of course, monitoring all the situation and they will be freezing all the funds that are moved uh, from the exchange to the exchange. So let's see what will happen. Uh, I hope they will solve it because else uh, it's back to 2017 again where there will be a few ICOs in the 2017 time that killed a lot of people's portfolio and now some DeFi projects will be doing the same. So always do your own research before you step into these project guys. Here, this one. Aye, my God. I will start with the negative news today like you see. Here, JP Morgan. He had, again, he had a survey. And now uh, an institutional investment in crypto is experiencing friction. I think JP Morgan, Jamie Dimon wants to buy more Bitcoins and way more cheaper because, you know, this is what he does every time. No, nobody can go into Bitcoin. And then uh, uh, a year later, he's saying uh, all the investors at JP Morgan, they will have to uh, put 1% of their portfolio into Bitcoin. And then a week later, he will be saying uh, they are experiencing friction uh, because he wants to drop the price for his clients so that his clients can uh, buy Bitcoin a little bit cheaper. This is, of course, how it works, guys. Uh, don't be fooled by these guys. This is MN Crypto's YouTube video is the line. Yes, uh, I've been having dinner with MN Crypto a few times over here. Uh, yeah, we have a, we are having a shit load of fun here in Tulum, Mexico. Uh, yeah, you can uh, read the whole article on Crypto Daily. But uh, sad news for all the people that were invested in uh, this project. Then we have another news article that is this one, guys. Deeper Network, they have officially announced its membership in the Polkadot DeFi Alliance. Polkadot, man. Polkadot is really doing good. Um, I saw a strange wick, I think, this night. Yeah, it dropped to 20 cents or something. Something strange, I think. Um, check it. They, they, I, if you had some buy orders really low, uh, you bought Polkadot really cheap uh, last night. Uh, but they are going uh, to build, build more, more, more. Polkadot is just a really cool chain. I think Gavin Wood... Uh, sometimes is here in Mexico as well and um, next time Gavin when you are in Mexico let's uh, have a drink and chat a little bit more about the future of Polkadot and the whole crypto space and the whole crypto uh, space and um, yes I did set the do not disturb thing but if this iPhone it keeps disturbing me it keeps popping up with all these um, stuff and notations um, people are still dancing here guys yeah uh, check check this is like <laughs> this is also this is uh, also looking at the top. <laughs> they, they are still dancing. <laughs> Amazing. They have a huge party in the house. <laughs> it's one big party here in Tulum. Um, they have been dancing all night and they are raving still. And they, they are still raving. Uh, this is Tulum, guys. There is no lockdown. Sorry, guys. Uh, being disturbed by the party, we were reading the news. <laughs> That's what you get when you don't edit, guys. Um, so that is all I think the news for today oh no this one is the most important part guys a really cool chart record GBTC discount may spark 100k Bitcoin price um, in March 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 did he no man that's like crazy cool but read because if you look at this chart you can see on the bottom every time when we go down below that line that zero line so we go minus every time you see a bull run we have this circle over there you can see it here this one there we go down below and then you see the 2017 bull run here again we go almost at the line we saw the starting of the bull run and now again we went down below just like the point over there this could spark a bitcoin rally all the way up to 100k very soon guys so really positive news uh, if you want to read this article please go to Cointelegraph. The title of the article is uh, Record GBTC Discount May Spark 100k Bitcoin Price. Really cool information. In my opinion, this is very um, cool if you look at Plan B's charts and all that stuff because yeah, I did some copy pasting as well, you know, as you know in the charts from 2017, the bull run to now. Wait, I will switch to my bomb again. 
Like you know guys, I drew this chart many times where I copied the 2017 bull run onto this bull run and then you can see um, that yes, we could be in March, April already reaching 100k. So maybe this is another start point. So please, please don't freak out. Don't sell your Bitcoins. Don't have weak hands. We are going back to 50k. We are going to 60k, 70k, 80k, 90k, 100k. I know every time the Bitcoin drops is very scary, but please take a look again at one of those videos I made a couple of weeks ago with all the drops we saw in 2017. They were all 20 to 40% drops, guys. And we bounced every time again. We had six pullbacks or dips, however you call them in 2017. And all of those six, we bounced back all the way up to 20K. Now we only experienced four dips during this bull run. So we should still need to be experiencing two more huge runs and two more dips. That was everything for today. Probably I forgot something. Yes, I forgot something. I want to share with you how much we already raised for the Tulum school project. In total, we got Bitcoin, we got Litecoin, some Ethereum, some Dash, and some Cardano. In total, we already raised the Rum Trum Ruffle more than 8K. More than 8K. The goal was 3K. We raised 8K. This school is going to be so happy when I'm going to tell them this, when I'm going to share with them that we cannot only build the school, we cannot only build the school, build uh, and buy the furniture and the school and the, ta and the stools and the table, but we can also maybe even um, build their garden with beautiful plants, how uh, to teach the children how to grow uh, food and all that stuff. But we can also maybe even you know, build this basketball slash soccer field so that they can football field. Diddy, you're a Dutch football field. Um, so, so, you know, these kids have this community center where they can be educated, but where they also can play during the day because the rest of the streets over there are ah, not really a play area for the kids. Um, so 8K, thank you so much for all the donations. Thank you so much for all the support. Um, I will be, of course, filming everything. I will be sharing the Bitcoin wallets, very transparent, so you can track how much came in how much is going out and then I will show you the spendings you'll be doing and of course keep track on this all so that you know that it's all going there and not going to my wallet or my pocket because there is enough <laughs> there is enough bitcoins in our wallets I don't need to steal from you guys and there is nothing in my life that will ever make me steal from poor people because I do think that is the worst thing you could do and um, that was everything for today. Um, sending you all the love and happiness from Tulum in Mexico. Thanking you for watching this video. If you did like the video, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment as I love to respond to your comment. And if you have any questions about the Bam Bam indicator, the TikTok indicator, or the BFAT, please, 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 please. <laughs> not editing that one uh, please join the discord channel guys uh, down below the video there's a link to the discord channel if you join that discord channel there is like more than 2500 i don't even know the number exactly at the moment maybe even 3000 uh, family members talking about bitcoin blockchain and life and yes you can win free family tokens there uh, and the family token at the moment is around 45 dollar cents so if you want to win some uh, dollar cents by doing some quizzes or filling some questions or just helping other people then join the family the huge bitcoin family on our discord server diddy you have been talking too long and too much again but that's because i'm walking on the beach and then i get this uh, special amount of energy from this beautiful sea and the scenery all around me guys that was everything for today hope you enjoy your day have an amazing weekend have an amazing friday uh, always remember to zoom out in Bitcoin and to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day. And that is exactly what life should be about and exactly what you and I should be doing and teaching others in this world. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you tomorrow again from a beautiful place here. I think tomorrow from the Maya temples in Tulum. Bam!